Our community is passionate, and I think that's a term you hear quite a bit at Concordia. I'm passionate about this community. I'm passionate about Concordia. Um, my passion is service. My passion is cheerleading. <laughs> I'm very passionate about film production and service. You know, my greatest passion is music. I sing, uh, play any instrument I can get my hands on. I like to hang out with my friends, have sleepovers, watch movies. My passion is literature and writing. I'm extremely passionate about my students, as I think we all are, and that's evident. My passion is, is physical fitness. Um, you know, I like to run races, I like to do triathlons. My passion is creating and helping students to find their creative voices. And I am also extremely passionate about the sustainable global initiatives that, uh, in my opinion, Concordia is trying to pioneer. The experience these students are having here at Concordia is nothing like what we had in high school. Our field trips when we were kids was to go to the firehouse or maybe the morgue. I mean, these kids on field trips go out to Western China and they bring water to people who've never had water in their village. And Concordia provides so many opportunities with interim and migrant school teaching and helping with the elementary school. It's really incredible. So when we went to YP Dashabao to teach English, simply seeing the sea of smiling faces at you made me uh, create a humanitarian segment in United Herald and then try to expose our student body to humanitarian issues around Shanghai so that they too will be uh, motivated as I was to help the people in need. In the past I've played in the orchestras. There's um, a couple bands, there's uh, five choirs that you can take part in. I sing in two of them. Passion at the school, it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's a passion for learning. And you've got teachers who finish teaching and then you look at them and they're kind of out of breath. I, I like to say the concept of passion for me is, is just Coming to a school and, and helping to work with this amazing uh, set of teachers to bring about a, a program that you can't find anywhere else. I want my students to care about the writing process. I want them to become as articulate in written form as they are verbally, and they are very articulate verbally, um, whether they're speaking in language or a foreign language, and when they communicate with one another and with teachers and in drama and in speech. Um, but I really do want them to become articulate on paper as well. Several years ago, I started an elective for the seventh and eighth graders and they created readers theaters and puppet shows and they also worked on the middle school chapel assemblies. It was a middle school perspective on the chapel assembly for the middle school students. One of the things I really like about this school is that we have such passionate and caring parents. About seven years ago, a group of parents got together to organize a school store. And we felt that the school spirit was missing in our community at that time. It's completely different today. We had an opportunity to host an APEC basketball tournament. The entire gym was filled with people wearing Phoenix Shop, uh, Concordia clothes, the pom-poms. Being able to go in the middle of the court at halftime and do the routine that you worked two or three weeks on. And then when you start it, the music starts because it's all quiet before that. And the crowd just cheers you on. It just feels amazing. Where we have evolved in the school spirit and what initially was thought of to be a, a small little store has turned into a huge thing and made a difference in our community. Our parents are passionate about what we're doing here. They are great advocates and we are engaging them in a partnership with education. And what I've found about this passion is when it is recognized and it is teamed up with the passion of our faculty and our administration, the experience for the child here is unbelievable and comparable. 